This event is the, the Team Design Challenge Sessions. This, this is a competition for our first year physics students and uh, they've worked all semester to model the motion of a matchbox car. So this event is the finale event where the teams have been given five separate challenges that they have to predict what their matchbox car will do on these tracks that we've had set up for them. So they have to predict a certain wind, where you release it so that it hits this finish line in a certain window. Uh, this is a very good way to learn about physics. You learn how drag interacts with a uh, moving object. You learn how friction slows down the car and how it acts in the real world. And it's more hands-on than that regular physics experiment. This year's theme is Gymkhana 5. It's uh, the Ken Block uh, drifting rally car, that kind of thing. In that, they're advertising for, for Monster Energy drinks. They're winning prizes that they can use for preparing for final exams. This, this is something I've never seen any other college do. Um, we definitely take the freshman experience to another level by giving them something creative and fun to do. And I know that my group really enjoyed doing it. The, the, the benefit of doing this kind of lab um, versus a traditional lab. In a traditional lab, you might measure an, an experimental parameter. Say, for example, the coefficient of friction uh, of a block going get down the incline. What I had is this week I had students getting a n brand new car the, doing that whole friction experiment once again so that their car will perform well during the challenges. What other opportunity can you get to have students actually want to redo the lab experiment that they've done throughout the semester?